Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, we'll learn about methods and functions, and uh, the, we'll learn various uh, terms related to methods like method prototype and method signature. We'll learn what is the return type of a method, and what are actual and formal parameters, and how to call a method or how to invoke a method. So let's uh, start by creating a new program in Java, and we'll learn these different terms through this program. So I'm going to create a new class and uh, let's uh, name the class as method demo and uh, let's say okay right click open editor and we can maximize the screen and we will delete these comments and delete these comments also delete this also and delete this code we do not need it and we can remove this extra space here and now what we'll do is we'll delete this code also now we are left with this simple class called method demo and uh, in this class we will create our own method okay so let's write public void and uh, let's call the method as greet okay and open the curly braces and close the curly braces of the method okay and here within the greet method we will write system dot out dot print ln welcome to the world of java okay and uh, that's it so here let's first learn uh, so the first thing which we will learn is what is method prototype okay so let's learn about method prototype so if you see this method here public void greet so greet is the name of a method greet is any valid identifier void is the return type and public is called access specifier so public is access specifier so whenever you define a method firstly you have to give the access specifier but access specifier is optional that means you may not give it and it will still run so access specifier here is public after that we specify the return type which in this case is void then comes the name of the method which is greet and followed by this parenthesis round parenthesis okay so this thing this is called method prototype that means the first line of a method definition is the method prototype and in method prototype we specify the access specifier return type name of the method and parenthesis okay so here public void greet is a method prototype then open the curly brace and closing curly brace so this is the method body whatever you write these statements you can write as many statements as you want within the method body here we have just written a simple statement so this is called method prototype now let us create another method in this let's write void sum int x comma int y and here let's say um, int c so as i told you in my previous video that int c is a local variable and these two are parameter variables so if you do not know under uh, what are, what are these you can see my uh, you can watch my previous video for that and here we can say c is equal to x plus y okay and here we'll say system dot out dot print ln c okay so now here if you see this method prototype here we have not given access specifier that is public we have skipped that because that is optional and here we have given the return type which is void the name of the method is sum and within the opening and the closing parenthesis we have specified two parameters so this is the what is the method prototype of this method so we will say the method prototype here is that it tells us that it is a void it the return type is void the name of the method is sum and it re and it receives two int parameters that means int x and int y so this is the method prototype okay so by looking at the method prototype we come to know about what things we come to know about the return type of the method and we come to know about the number total number and the type of parameters so if you see the sum method the return type of sum method is void and the total number of parameters being passed to the sum method are two and what is the what is the data type of each parameter int and int so what is the prototype of greet method the prototype of greet method tells us that this method does not return any value and it 
does not receive any parameter. So this is what method prototype is. Now the next term which we should know is what is method signature. Okay. So the difference between method prototype and method signature is the method pro signature only tells us about the arguments or the parameters. So if when we talk of method signature we mean the number total number and the type of arguments we do not talk about return type so in this case what is the signature of some uh, we can say what is the signature of uh, some method the signature of some method is that it receives two parameters and the data type of each parameter is int what is the signature of greet method the signature of greet method is that it does not receive any parameters okay so in a way we can say that method signature is part of method prototype okay so this is what we mean by method prototype and method signature now second thing is return type so we have already seen that here we are talking about the return type as void so void means that the method does not return any value okay so if a method is void and does not return any value now let's uh, see another example so we'll just remove this and we'll create another method here let's say void and the name of the method is cube and it receives uh, an int argument okay so int x and within the method we create a local variable int c and we say c is equal to x into x into x and then we say system dot out dot print ln c okay and then we close the curly braces of this method now we'll create another method void demo and here we will write we'll make a call to the cube method so we will say uh, let us declare a variable int a is equal to 5 and here we say cube and we pass a here okay we can make a call another call to cube and we can pass 3 here okay now let's understand what we are doing now i have defined here a method called cube so what is the prototype of cube method the prototype of cube method is that it does not return any value and it receives an int argument okay int argument or int parameter now within this cube method what we are doing is we have created a local variable c which is doing the cube of x that means the number which is passed as parameter and then it prints the cube okay and here we can write uh, the cube of x is okay and now from another method we are making a call to this cube method so you see here this is method call so this is how we call a method method call or we can call it method invocation okay and uh, this is again a method call okay so when you call a method you just take the name of the method you do not write to the, ret the return type here and if the method receives the parameters let because in this case it receives one int parameter so you have to pass one int parameter if it receives two int parameters you have to pass two int parameters so since it receives one int parameter so we have declared our variable int a is equal to five and we are passing that variable here so when you call the method the control will transfer from here to this part of the program the value of a will be will go into x and then it will do the cube of the number and it will print after that the control will come to the statement immediately following the method call that means this statement now here again we have the method call so now we are passing a constant 3 3 is an integer so again this value of 3 will go to x the value of x will become 3 and it will do the cube of this okay so now what we can do is we can uh, run this program and okay here uh, uh, one more thing before i run this program i want to tell you is that this int x this is called formal parameter and the a and 3 these are actual parameters so actual parameters are passed in the method call whereas formal parameters are passed in the method prototype okay and with formal parameters we specify the data type but with actual parameters we do not specify the data type okay so this is how we can make a call to the method from within another method okay so uh, this is about 
method actual parameters and formal parameters and we have seen how to make a call to the method and next is return type so first uh, we have understood that if it is a void method that means it does not return any value okay so now if i compile this program no errors now we can run this program so to run this program let's say uh, right click and uh, we can create a object of this and we can see and now uh, we can uh, run this method or instead we can uh, what we can do is uh, because we have not passed any parameter here to this uh, okay so let's run this void demo so you see the cube of 5 is 25 and the cube of 3 is 27 so if you see the program here uh, let's see so here you see uh, we call the demo method and we run the de demo method from within uh, the demo method the first call cube a so a is 5 here so it prints 125 then in the second call the value of uh, like we pass 3 here so the value of x becomes 3 and it prints 3 into 3 into 3 that means 127 so this is what we mean by method call or method invocation so here we saw one return type that means void now let me change the return type of the method from instead of void let's change the return type to int okay so now if a method is returning void means the method does not return any value or we can say that the method does not have any return statement but if the return type is int or it can return type can be any uh, primitive data type okay so here if the return type is int we will remove the statement we will not have this print statement here let's come let me comment it out or you can delete it okay so let's just delete it and instead what we'll do is we'll write a return statement here so we will write uh, return c okay and now one more change we'll have to make here is since it is returning a value you will have to declare one more variable here let's say int uh, b and you will have to say b is equal to cube a okay and uh, again if you're making we can remove this call we can just see this and here what we'll do is we will print b okay and uh, we will print b and the cube of instead of x we will write a okay so the cube of a is so now what is the difference between a void and return and a void method and a method which returns an int value see in case of void there was no return statement but if the method returns a value you need to have a return statement so uh, one method can return only one value okay not more than one value so you can't have c comma let's suppose x we can't return two values you can return only one method one value so this since the, the return type is int so that it, it has to return an int value and here it is okay because int c is int so it returns c now since it is returning a value so the method call statement would be like this because it has to catch the value which the method is returning so the return value of c will be received by b and here we print the value of b okay so now if i run this uh, so if you see that let us compile this program and now we can run it uh, we can clear the screen okay and uh, now when we run it uh, right click new okay and right click demo so if you see this the cube of 5 is 125 so this is how we can uh, Clear, make programs in which we can call one method from within another method so i hope uh, these method prototype method signature actual and formal parameters and how to make a method call i think this should be uh, clear to all now and um, if you like this video please don't forget to click on the like button and please do subscribe to my channel estudy.in thanks for watching